Hey guys, David aka Nailbuster. Thought I'd, uh, why not, show you a new feature that I put in and uh, this one deserves its own video because it'll make life so much easier. Uh, in the back office now, look, 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 we have Media Manager. You click on Media Manager and ooh, 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 we have like a layout here of how our pins are. Topper, Backlast, DMD, Playfield, Help, Info Flyer, Audio Files, other. So you'll notice tables 24 and as I move it shows me yellow means I'm missing media green means I have media easy peasy look at that see oh, oh look at it update awesome so a couple of things now you want to be sitting down for this uh, let's say you want to see media that I'm missing back glasses so I can right click on a back glass and I can go find next missing and it'll go and it'll find in the database with the one missing back. If I want to see DMDs, I can right click on DND, find next missing DMDs. I could start from this from the start on the first DMD missing. Ooh, it's all easy. Now, let's get some of the good stuff. So now that you notice you you're missing some data or whatnot, uh, let's just go for something that's missing a wheel image. Do I have something missing a wheel image? Oh, why don't I just go find it? All right, so this one's missing a wheel image. Now I downloaded a pack and apparently probably has a different file name than Elvis.vpx. So if I just click once on this, ooh, it shows me, because I have in the folder some other files that are very similar in name. All right, a couple of things. So I can right click on it, highlight it, right click. I can rename the file or make a copy. Now, if I rename or make a copy, it will automatically put this into the media folder that is required for this to work in your system. So uh, I can preview file. Uh, but right now I can just go, yeah, make a copy. And boom, all of a sudden, it got there. You don't have to worry about what folder it was in, whatnot. You don't have to worry about any of that stuff. It just automatically renamed and set your wheel image for Elvis. Now, oh, nice, eh? Then you can get into really cool stuff. You could also, if you had an Explorer open, right? Once your VPX is in the system, I can say, oh, my DMD. So I can just click and drag the DMD. And what that just did there, it took, I know this is alien, but anyways, it took this, it renamed it, made a copy, renamed it, and put it into the media folder DMD that it needed for that. Even if there was multiple different media folders by emulator, it just did that for you. And uh, yeah, so uh, you can so you can find missing ones, you can double click on it, we'll uh, bring up, well, you went to the other monitor, but double click will bring up your know, preview. Um, yeah, really excited. You could really do lots of cool stuff with this. Uh, and again, if you just want to work with a certain media and go, hey, I just want to work with my FX3 files, find out what's missing with DMDs, info flyers. All right, you click on any of these, it'll give you things that might help. Let's look for another wheel image. So this one's missing. Uh, let's find another one. Oh, look, Hercules. So it's just renamed wrong. So I can just go right click, rename. And my wheel image is set for Hercules. Good stuff, eh? Alrighty, that's it for now.